What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to optimize your Nvidia control panel settings for gaming and performance. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. Right click your desktop and select Nvidia control panel to open it up. In the adjust image settings with preview section, make sure to set this option to use the advanced 3D image settings and apply your changes. In the Manage 3D Settings tab, you'll be able to make changes which have a big impact on your GPU's performance. Make sure to enable image sharpening if you can, and set the sharpen value to 0.5, and ignore film grain to 0.17. You should also enable the GPU scaling option, in case it's available to you. This will enable you to use custom resolutions, especially lower ones for games which don't usually support it. Set ambient occlusion to performance. Anisotropic filtering to application controlled. Turn anti-aliasing FXAA to off. Enable the anti-aliasing gamma correction option. Anti-aliasing mode should be set to application controlled. Anti-aliasing transparency should be turned to off. CUDA GPUs should be set to all. Set the dynamic super resolution option to off unless you prefer to upscale your in-game render resolution. For low latency mode, set this option to on, to get the most performance when playing games on your system, unless you're running a low-end PC and you're unable to run games at 60 FPS, then set this option to ultra. Turn the max frame rate option off when using a system which has no issue running games on a normal frame rate, as you can cap your FPS in most in-game settings anyway. If you suffer from low FPS, then you can manually cap your max frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate to save some resources. Disable multi frame sampled AA. Set the OpenGL rendering GPU to the GPU you are using, unless you're using multiple ones, then set this option to auto select. Set the power management mode option to prefer maximum performance. Below, set the preferred refresh rate option to highest available. Enable shader cache as well as texture filtering and isotropic sample optimizations. Set texture filtering negative LOD bias to allow. Texture filtering quality should be changed to performance or high performance. In case you're using a low end GPU, then set this option to high performance. Switch trilinear optimization to on. Threaded optimization should be set to auto. Triple buffering should be turned off. Turn off the VSync option, and lastly, set the Virtual Reality pre render Frames option to 1 and Variable Rate Super Sampling to off. Make sure to apply your changes. In the Change Resolution tab, select your monitor on the left hand side. Select to use the highest resolution available to you, which is usually labeled as native. Also, make sure to use the highest refresh rate available to you. In case you don't see a high refresh rate option, even if your monitor is capable of high refresh rates, then make sure to use the right cable to connect to your PC. In my case, I need to use a display port to use the 144Hz refresh rate option. In order to get the most out of your Nvidia graphics card, I highly recommend to make sure that its driver is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download, and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. I hope this helped you out, leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.